stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Cameron. Ricky with Sports News. And I'm Maya with Jean and your Grizzly News Network. Today is Friday, November 8th, 2019. Yeah. Happy Veterans Day to all that have served in the armed forces. A special shout out to our new math teacher, Mr. Mazaki, who served in the Navy, and to our new Navy JROTC Lieutenant Commander, Don Back, who sa we salute you. Bonjour, Grizzlies. Here's a recap about French Week. Thank, thank you, Brandon, for the report. Hello, I'm here with Quincy. And Quincy, how has this French performance helped your French fluency? Um, it has helped because I have now remembered the French body parts, which we were learning this week. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, would you recommend that you do this again in your class next year? Yes, it helps my French fluency, and it's just an all-around fun thing to do with all the French classes. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Madame Gary, and she is one of the French teachers at this school. So, um, Madame Gary, what exactly is this French performance? So French, the French performance that we're going to have tomorrow at the theater at 10 a.m. is uh, part of French week. Uh, we're celebrating fr uh, the Francophone culture. When I say Francophone culture, I really mean France and all of Africa, all of the places in, in the world that speak French. And so we are um, celebrating this culture. Um, in the library, there's a big display uh, where you can find out about French cheeses, champagne, uh, uh, the fashion, French fashion, and all of the countries who speak French. So uh, we invite all the students to come and visit this. And on Thursday, our students are going to be interpreting French songs and uh, poems and little skits. It's going to be a lot of fun. So um, how exactly does this French performance help your students learn French better? Uh, when you learn songs, when you learn poems, things like that, uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, in this atmosphere, people learn much better and students love it. It's, uh, so they have uh, this group performance and it makes, them, uh, it makes them learn better and not be so shy presenting in front of, a cl in front of an audience. Sorry. Well, thank you very much. Well, I'm here with Andre. He is a French student at our school. So, Andre, how um, important do you think it is for people in the school to learn about French culture? Well, I think the French culture is really cool, and not a lot of people think it's really interesting. A lot of people think of France like as the white flag, as a joke. And I really think that if people learn more about France and the French culture, especially during French Week, that it'll allow us to be more appreciative of the actual country and all those other colonies and all of that. So, um, you already understand the French language, but do you think that um, this French week will help students who are learning French for the first time? Do you think this will help them understand it better? Well, yes, because usually when you're doing something that's fun, you'll 
remember something better because especially if you're learning a new language like me when I was learning English uh, we would do a lot of like songs and plays and stuff which would help me just learn the language and, and learn how to react depending on what words uh, are used and it's just a really useful way to teach the students and give them an experience that they won't forget. Well thank you for your input. This was Brandon back to you at the studio. Once again thank you Brandon for that report. Now here's Ricky with our sports news. Thank you, Cameron. Yeah. Women's flag football is starting soon. Coaches are looking for athletes for all three levels. B, JV, and varsity teams need the best athletes to come out and show your stuff and help lead our program to success. Trials will be Saturday, November 16th at 9 a.m. Please have registered my athlete complete an athletic package before trial dates. Tell a friend and see you soon. Join Remind so you can stay up to date on flag football information. The wrestling season starts on November 16th. There will be a wrestling meeting on Tuesday, November 12th at 1.30 in the weight room. Our team is trying to win a championship this winter. Come out for our wrestling to compete and show your skills off. Basketball trial for boys will be conducted on November 16th. Varsity will be at 5 a.m., 6.15. JV will be at 7.15 to 8.30 a.m. and freshmen will be at 8.45 to 10 a.m. Make sure you have, are, you are on time and have registered my athlete along with completed athletic packet done before coming to tryouts. If not completed, you cannot try out. For more information, please con contact Coach Blair in room 220. Now here's Maya with some more news around campus. Thank you, Ricky. Do you want to gain the skills to be a competitive in the 21st century, want to be on an up-and-coming robotics team making the name for itself in the Las Vegas Valley? Come join us as we embark on the Star Wars Infinite Recharge Challenge on Thursday, November 14th at 1.15 in room 302. Hey Grizzlies, interested in community service, join Environmental Club Campus Cleanup on Tuesday, November 12th. For more information, stop by room 923 and attend Environmental Club meetings every Tuesday. Today's weather is a high of 80 and a low of 51 degrees and sunny. This was Maya, Cameron, and Ricky of the Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a fantastic, fantastic Friday, Friday Grizzlies! Grizzlies.